Come here, son. Nephew. Young man. Let me holler at you. Look. You got to go check the temperature for yourself. No, I'm not actually physically talking about the weather. But this morning, <clears throat> the weather app said it was going to be like 67 degrees. Me personally, anything under 70 degrees, I generally wear a hat. So I can, um, <clears throat> and I just got out the shower too, I'm sorry. I generally wear a hat because that's chilly enough for me to start sneezing. Especially if my head is wet from coming out the shower and stuff like that. And I come outside. The thermometer in my truck says it's 77. What has that got to do with life, Mr. Renaissance man? What you talking about, bro? You got to check the temperature for yourself in life. When people say, nah, starting that business is too hard. Go see for yourself. If it's something positive, something that you know you need to do, something that you know you need to understand, go check it out for yourself. It's just like when you go outside and say, let me see what this air feels like. I understand what the app says, but let me go see what the air feels like so I can dress according. Now, bring you a hat, bring you a little hoodie just in case. You know, bring a baseball cap and stuff it in your backpack just in case. You might need it. You might need to make an adjustment. But now you know, wait a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what it's really like. You know for yourself. And once you know for yourself, nobody can tell you otherwise. Now, everybody else is a little bit too hot. A little bit too cold. Because they didn't go to see what you know. Can I borrow your jacket? Nope. It's not that I don't want to keep you warm, but I got to take care of me first. Life is really like that. And when it's time for other people, once they realize you actually know what you're talking about, maybe it's not too late. Maybe it is. Maybe you saw some things in them other folks who were scared to go outside and check the temperature or just too lazy. Or just didn't care. Maybe you saw some things in them and you realize, you know what? I don't know if I really want this person on this journey with me. I don't know if this person can handle this journey. Do I really want a person who don't care, isn't thinking, is afraid or whatever the case may be? I don't know. And maybe you do. Maybe they just needed to see you start to separate from them. Or maybe they need to feel some chill bumps and start to sneeze themselves so they can realize, you know what? Let me listen to that person from now on. They know what they're talking about. If it's anything positive, anything that you've been scared to do, anything that you hadn't gotten enough rest and prepared yourself to do, you've been thinking about it, but you didn't go ahead and pull the trigger on that opportunity. Whatever it is, go on and check the temperature yourself. You'll be glad you did because you'll either find out, man, this worked out exactly how I wanted to or you'll find out this is what I need to do next time it's the equivalent to finding out hey it actually ain't as cold as I thought it was or alright duly noted next time the temperature feels like this but the, the wind is like this or the humidity is this way hey maybe I just need to bring a jacket or you knew to prepare anyway so maybe it rains later you see the clouds in the sky yourself. Huh. Even though the forecast says it's not going to rain, I'm going to bring my umbrella anyway. You might have to play this video back a couple times to get it. I don't want it to be something you see in life later on and then you get it. Play it back. Listen to what I'm saying. It's a metaphor for life. Hit the like button or hit the dislike button. Leave me a comment. Hit the share button because I guarantee you that there's somebody out here who can use this content, especially young men. You feel free to subscribe, but I understand this ain't for everybody. Everybody don't want to go outside and check the temperature. Uh -uh, I think it's too cold out there. That's fine. No problem. But for the other Renaissance men out there, always remember, never lose the will to win. 
and never lose the will to survive.